A few videos ago, James May said this. I, I, I don't really like old cars. I know everybody thinks I must, and that I've got a garage full of luxury motors, most of which were built in the 1960s, and are all somehow in the single garage of my house. But it's not true. Now the Ferrari is gone, I don't have anything old. May has been saying similar things for quite a while now, and as I've seen in the comments, a lot of us are finding it hard to come to terms with what he's saying. The fact that he's essentially over classic car ownership and is simply ready to move on. I've only driven a couple of classic cars in my life, and I must say, after watching James's video, I started to second guess my thoughts on them. So I thought I'd grab the keys to arguably the quintessential classic car, the Series 1 Jaguar E-Type, to see whether what James May is saying makes sense. This beauty was lended to me by E-Type UK, the leading E-Type specialists in the country. This is a 3.8 litre four-speed car that was fully restored back in 2018, painted in heritage correct opalescent grey and beautifully contrasted with that red interior. I had a Corgi model of one of these as a kid, so kicking about in this for the weekend was pretty damn special. First things first, let's get the crap bit of the E-Type out of the way. First up, it runs on carburetors, so you have to activate a choke to get it going when it's cold in the morning. It doesn't have power steering, so when you're trundling around town, it's a proper wrestling match. The thing is over 50 years old, so everything squeaks and rattles, and I can't see out of any of the mirrors because they slowly vibrate into completely useless positions. And I only have one wing mirror because who cares what's coming up my inside. And then finally, just like the XK120 I drove last year, it has the four-speed MOS gearbox, which is by far and away the car's Achilles heel. It's such a tricky thing to operate, and things can get very crunchy very easily. Nope. But then you find yourself a stretch of country road, you make sure you're in second gear, and... Suddenly, nothing else matters apart from that noise and the smile on your face. I've been trying to think of a way to state my argument and I think I've got it down to one movie, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Stay with me on this one. The modern Star Wars movies are full of action and are easy, digestible, fast-paced movies that you can just sit back, absorb them and enjoy them and there is room for that pastime in today's world. However, once in a while it is great to put on a classic, a real head scratcher that demands your attention and forces you to put in some effort to really get it. For example, Stanley Kubrick's 2001. You definitely have to be in the correct frame of mind, but once you're settled in, my God, is it rewarding. In many ways, it doesn't hold up to modern movies at all, and yet there are still some scenes that are amazing to watch even 50 years on from when it was released. And when was it released? 1968, just five years after this car rolled off the production line at Jaguar's Browns Lane factory. There's something else to remember too. James has been there and done it. If you ask him what classic cars he's driven, he can run off names like an original GT40, a Porsche 917, and a Ferrari P4. The man has driven a Veyron over 250 miles an hour. So after roughly 20 years of presenting car media, it totally makes sense that driving a classic car simply doesn't have the same appeal as it used to. It totally comes down to what you want from driving. And James is at a time in his life when he wants to be at the cutting edge of technology, moving away from the relatively archaic world of internal combustion. I, on the other hand, don't want things to be too modern, high tech and easy. I want to feel what it's like to perform a perfect non-synchro meshed gear shift. And I'm totally okay getting out of a car like this at the end of the day, feeling totally battered and bruised, because I know that a Series 1 Jaguar E-Type has done that damage. 
I'm totally okay with the amount of hassle driving a car like this is because to me, it is so, so worth it. So James, I get where you're coming from and who knows, when I'm your age, I might have the same mindset. But for now, I'm more than happy to explore the world of classic cars as thoroughly as I possibly can.